In this video, I'm going to show you how to fork the Ethereum mainnet onto your computer for blockchain development, okay? So this is a really essential skill that you need to know if you want to become a real-world blockchain developer. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Uh, before we get into that, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory from Dappy Diversity, and on this channel, I teach you how to become a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then click the like button down below and click subscribe. And if you want to master blockchain from start to finish, I can show you how to do that step by step. All right, head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started. So let me show you how to fork the Ethereum mainnet uh, for blockchain development on your computer. All right. So uh, let me explain what I mean by that. First of all, uh, a fork in software is basically just making a copy of something that's separate from the original thing, right? Like think about like a fork in the road. Okay. Um, and what we're going to do is like take Ethereum and stop at a certain point in time and fork it and make our own copy kind of, right? I'll show you, show you what I mean by all that. Okay. So basically what this is going to allow us to do is work directly with the main Ethereum network without having to actually work with the Ethereum mainnet. It's, it's pretty cool, all right? So let me explain a few reasons why you might want to do this. All right, so the first reason uh, could be like, if you want to make yourself rich, you know, hold lots of ether. And two would be like, if you want to work with existing smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain, work with existing contracts, all right? So if you want to build a blockchain application that uses existing uh, smart contracts on the blockchain uh, without having to recreate those smart contracts, this will allow you to do that, right? So for example, uh, if you want to work with a DeFi protocol like Compound Finance, for example, uh, you can find Compound's smart contracts on the mainnet, fork the Ethereum mainnet, and use Compound that way, okay? So um, you can create your own smart contracts and interact with the Compound lending protocol, all that kind of stuff. There's lots of different things you can do with this. Like I said, you can make yourself rich in the sense of you can hold lots of Ether, at least for development purposes. Um, you know, and maybe you need to do this because you need to hold lots of Ethereum to test things out. I'm going to show you to do all that kind of stuff in this video, okay? So um, how are we going to do this? Uh, well, we're going to do it with Ganache, okay? So if you've seen any of my other tutorials or maybe you've just been in the blockchain space, essentially Ganache is a development blockchain. It's, it's like a fake blockchain that runs in your computer uh, that allows you to get started really fast, okay? And this is Ganache uh, GUI or the graphical user interface of Ganache. You basically have an app. You can just point and click and it opens up. It's got a nice user interface here. But there's also another version of Ganache called uh, Ganache CLI or Ganache, you know, the command line interface version of it. Okay. So it allows you to do things like fork the Ethereum mainnet, unlock other accounts that you don't necessarily have the private key to so that you can access their funds, at least in development, right? You can't just unlock arbitrary accounts on the main Ethereum network, but you can get a copy of the Ethereum network and pretend to be someone else so that you can uh, develop applications this way, right? Same thing for smart contracts. You can unlock smart contract addresses and things like that, okay? So I'm going to show you to do that right now. Uh, first, go ahead and um, download Ganache CLI. So go to your terminal and say npm install and say uh, dash uh, G, we'll say Ganache CLI. All right, so I've already done this, so I'm not going to repeat this step, but you'll need to do that, and that's how you install Ganache CLI. Um, the next you want to do is make sure you grab an Infura URL. So uh, Infura is a uh, like an Ethereum node as a service. So if you sign up for free, you'll get a URL directly to an Ethereum node, and that's what we're going to use to fork mainnet. Basically, we're going to point Ganache to that Ethereum node um, and get the state of the Ethereum mainnet for development purposes, okay? Um, and then the last thing you wanna do is head on over to uh, GitHub and clone the starter kit. And then go to your terminal and we'll create a new project like this. So we'll say git clone, we'll paste in the URL. All right, and then we'll give it a name. We'll say uh, ganache CLI test, something like that, okay? Um, so we'll enter into that directory like this, say CD Ganache CLI test. All right. So now what we want to do inside of here, um, is just keep this here for now, because all this does is give us access to Truffle and the Truffle console. So keep that there. We'll open up a new terminal tab like this inside our project. And what we're going to do is boot up Ganache CLI, pointing it to mainnet. All right. And we also want to unlock 
um, a specific account on the mainnet so that we can have access to the ether in that. Okay. So uh, let's, let's first find the account that we want to access. So we'll go to ether scan. We'll say ether scan. All right. And we'll look up, you know, some really rich account. We'll try one of these miners, for example. So here's a miner pool, right? So they have about a hundred thousand dollars of ether. So that's pretty good. We'll start there. Uh, we'll copy this address and uh, we'll keep that handy for just a second. Okay. So now what we want to do is um, start Ganache CLI like this. Say so Ganache CLI. All right. So that would just start it up uh, as its default value. All right. Or as default way. Basically, it shows you the accounts, it shows you the private keys, things like that. But what we want to do is actually point it to the Ethereum mainnet. All right. So we do that like this. We say uh, dash dash fork. And now what we want to do is point it to the Infura URL. So basically, like, go ahead after you signed up for Infura, you know, uh, basically paste in your Infura URL like this. So uh, mainnet infura.io forward slash v3 and then your key here. All right. I'm going to put my own key in here off screen in a second, but go ahead and put your key in there like that. And then uh, what we're going to do is say dash dash unlock. And we're going to unlock an arbitrary account. So this one that we found here on Etherscan. Okay. So I'll just copy this address like this um, and then paste it here in my command line. All right. So we're going to unlock that account. And then finally, what I'm going to do is specify the port that I want Ganache to run on because by default, it runs on port 8545, I believe. Uh, yeah, right here. And I want it to run 7545 because that's the project, that's the port that my truffle project is uh, set up on. Okay. So dash P. Um, let's see here, 7545. All right. And so now what I'm going to do is take this off screen and put my own Infura key in here and start it. And you should see, uh, the same result. So I'll see you back in one second. All right, there we go. So it is running. All right. So, um, you'll see here the network ID is one. So it's pointed to the Ethereum mainnet. Uh, that's the location of the Ethereum node and then also hit the current block number. All right. So um, now you have pointed your Ganache CLI instance to the Ethereum mainnet. Okay. All right. Now let's uh, open the Truffle console and actually interact with the blockchain as the Ethereum mainnet. Okay. We'll, we'll fetch that account that we just uh, grabbed from Etherscan. We'll check its balance to make sure it actually holds, you know, about a hundred thousand dollars worth of Ether. And we'll try to actually sign transactions from that account because we can do that. It's unlocked. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is NPM install on all the uh, project dependencies that came from the starter kit that you just cloned. All right. Uh, so we'll just put truffle and everything on your computer. And uh, then after this is finished, we'll open the console. And we'll do just that. All right, now that's finished. Uh, let's go ahead and open the console like this, a truffle console. All right, and inside of here, we can execute commands against the main Ethereum network, at least our copy of it, okay? So first of all, we'll uh, do this. We'll do uh, web3.eth. Let me just bump the font here. All right, we'll say web3eth.getbalance, and we will... Um, Let's get our address that we started Ganache with. Okay, so basically we'll just copy this. So three ETH get balance. All right, and we'll say uh, await, and we'll sign it to a variable here. Say balance. All right, say balance. So don't worry if that says undefined. Uh, it will. It'll, you can just hit the variable value again in the console. It'll actually return the value. Okay, uh, so. There you go. Boom. There's the balance. So 49, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So that's exactly what we see here on Etherscan. So it's, it's right. Um, so we can, uh, do a little better here. Let's actually sign this to a variable, say, uh, const, uh, count equals this. All right. Actually, let's, let's do const account sign to a string. All right. And then next we want to do is try that again with the balance. Let's just make sure that with the variable works. All right, say account here, balance. Okay, perfect. We can say balance web3.utils from way, uh, convert this to ether, say balance, say there go. Boom, there we go. So 495 roughly ether. So there you go, awesome. So it's a little bit different, that's okay. Um, this is probably at a different point in the blockchain than Etherscan is in this page right here. So 
The next thing we want to do is actually try to sign transactions from this account. Basically, we'll just send cryptocurrency to a different account. So let's just create a new arbitrary account and send cryptocurrency to it. Um, or we'll, we'll fetch an arbitrary account on Etherscan, okay? So let's just find a different, this btc.com pool, all right? Let's, uh, well, no, no, let's t- tell you what, let's just create an entirely new address and we'll do it that way. So we'll say web 3 accountscreate all right? So here's the new account. So don't use this account for real in real life because everyone who's watched this video has seen this private key. Uh, but we'll just like copy this and say recipient, const recipient equals this. All right, and we'll check the balance of the recipient. We'll say balance uh, recipient. All right, balance should be zero. All right. So now let's actually send some uh, cryptocurrency to the recipient. So we'll go here. Uh, We'll basically just say uh, await web3 eth.send transaction. And we'll say from, we'll say, um, what do we call that? Account. And then two, and we'll say recipient. And value, we'll say uh, web3.utils two-way one ether. All right. So wait for that to happen. Oh, whoops. Looks like I had a little error here. I actually just assigned the wrong account advice. Let me, my apologies. Let's just redo that here. Uh, so basically, I'm going to do the account that I opened Ganache with. So I'll just create a different account. This is the one I actually started Ganache with. It's my fault. I made a little mistake here. So we'll say const uh, sender. How about that? And then we'll paste in uh, this account here. All right, boom. So there's the sender. All right, so let's just check the balance of the sender before we do this. All right, so let's get balance of the sender. Balance. Okay, so now let's get the balance of the recipient just to make sure. Okay, then balance. All right, perfect. Now we want to send the transaction from this account because this is one we have actually unlocked. Okay, so um, let's do this from sender so await web3 eth send transaction from sender to recipient value one ether and there we go boom it worked so we can successfully sign transactions from that account now let's check the balances so balance equals of, of, the, of the sender i'm sorry the recipient let's see if it actually went up should be one ether balance boom there we go one ether Awesome. And the balance of the sender should also have gone down. All right. Boom. Awesome. That worked too. So this is how you fork uh, the main net on Ethereum. Okay. For development purposes. Like this is not real ether. You don't get to spend this money in real life. Uh, But this is very useful for development, um, especially if you're working with existing smart contracts. Like I said before, let's say you want to build an integration with a DeFi protocol like uh, compound, for example, maybe you want to do trades on a decentralized exchange. Well, this is how you do it. You fork the main net so that you can have access to these things uh, in your development environment and you build applications with the state of the main net like this. All right. So hope you like this video. Uh, again, subscribe to the channel, click the like button down below if you haven't already. Um, and if you want to master blockchain from start to finish, step by step, I can show you how to do that Uh, exactly. All right. Just head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.